Why do you want data validation to be done? Now you know data has moved from your ECC to, to your S4 structure. So when, when that happens, you want to make sure all the data has moved. You want to make sure that all the data has moved and that there are no discrepancies in the data and, and also that uh, every, every, every uh, field value is right and you have not lost data. So to be able to do that, this could be done in a couple of ways. If, you, if you're doing it manually, what you do is on the ECC system, you take reports, you take table dumps of all the tables and uh, tables of both master and transaction data. And then when you move to the S4 system, you could rerun those reports, go to SC16, get the data out. But this becomes a very time consuming process given that, uh, given that your data could run into billions of records. So then, so what you would want to do is use some tools that could that that can do this automatically and that you could do them in parallel so uh, one of one of the modules of kturn does this automatically where you are able to get data from both the systems do a compare and push out the results and then all you have to do is go look at the inconsistencies in a in a re go really good scenario you have all green every data has been migrated but I'm sure after a couple of mock runs, you would definitely get to those states. So these are the various data that you would want to validate both in your source and target system. And this is some a sample from the logistics. So depending on the use of the customer, you, you will have to ensure that all the data that you have has got migrated and validated. So, so once, once the validation is done, once the validation is done, then that uh, that kind of comp uh, and, and a smoke test and then you release the system to the users. But then that, that kind of completes a conversion from ECC to S4.